Hello guys and welcome to another Clash mini video. In today's video I'll show you one of the best wave master decks. It's a really strong deck and I am currently at 10 win streaks with this deck and I am playing it in top 464. Now let's jump to a game and see how far I can get with this win streaks. The first match was against royal champion and it was really a so easy game so I will not show it. Here we are in the second match and we are facing monk the worst matchup you will possibly get and we all know the first round against the monk is most of the time a lose for us but I will try and I will put a down a Valkyrie for a tank and a battle healer let's see which he, he upgraded his mini pekka to dissipate and yeah it's a lose now we are at round number two and what we must do in this position is putting down as many minis as we can now um, royal uh, golden giant or bowler i will put down the golden giant and i will do it like this now let's see in the second round we have a small chance of win um, this mini pair connecting on top of my golden giant and this monk is destroying everything and we may win, we may win, we have a small chance, we may have a small chance, yes, but yeah, it's another lose. Now finally we are in round number 3 and the big comeback comes in here because in the future rounds Monk is not strong as the last two rounds. I will put down the bowler and upgrade my mini pika to this bait and hopefully we will win this round. Let's see. He puts a bowler and upgraded his mini Pekka to dissipate, but my mini Pekka is dissipating his monk and his mini Pekka is doing his job as well. Oh, this will be a close one. This will be a really close one. If, if my, you know, my mini Pekka died, really, really close one. Come on, battle healer. No. She was not able to heal the bowler. Oh, this will be a really close one. Come on. Yes, we survived it when was with one HP. That was really insane. Now in round number four, what I will do is uh, I will upgrade my healing ranger to the rage ability and I will reroll and upgrade my healing ranger to wider spear as well. And I'll put it on the electric tile and I'll do it like this. And our bowler gets a huge value. His monk is destroying my golden giant. Hopefully if his monk didn't hit the... Uh, yes, uh, my wave master with his ability will be at the best position ever. And as you see, round number 4 was really easy one for me. Now we are at round number 5 and the last one. I will move my troops uh, away from the electric type tile because I expect him to put his spear goblin there and um, I will move my mini pika to the other side and we don't have time so I must upgrade my mini is fast. I upgrade my mini without any thinking because I didn't have any time. My bowler hits his monk which is great and my mini pika is dissipating his monk that's really good for me and his mini pika died that's nice if only my wave master survived yes now because of uh, my healing rager we will win this round and that was the big comeback that i was talking about that was really insane now we are at the third match and we are facing Countess. We will, we should be fine in this match because Countess is not really good in the meta right now. I will scrap the one of the Valkyries and I will put down the mini Pekka. And let's see what he will do. He puts mini Pekka and battle healer. I think we will win this round as my golden giant. He hits his uh, head but on top of the counters and easily like this I win the first round. 
now we are at round number two what i will do is i will move my minis like this and i will put down a valkyrie and should i upgrade the mini picker or i will put down a healing ranger what i done is i put it down as many minis as i can now let's see what he will do he put down a bowler and a lumberjack his count is going on top of my healing ranger but my Wave Master saves the healing ranger at the last second and oh, this will be close one. He has four minis and I have two. But the Wave Master is really strong and it's really broken to be honest because like you see he's flying everywhere and healing here himself. This will be close one. This will be close one. Yes, I my healing ranger survives with one HP. She's just the best mini in the meta right now. In round number 3, I will upgrade my mini pika to this bait and I will move my golden giant to the front because I expect him to upgrade his mini pika to this bait as well and I will move my mini pika uh, in front of the healing uh, electric tail because I expect him to put his countess there. And let's see. Ooh, his bowler saves his he count is and his count is killing my healing ranger which is not good and his mini picker is doing a great job out of my wave master now and round number three will be for him and in round number four i will put down a bowler and i will move my mini picker to the other to the left hand side and I will move my wave master to here and I will upgrade my healing ranger to the rage ability hopefully if my mini pika catch his countess no he catch if the mini pika hits his lumberjack is not good and his mini pika is really annoying me Killing every of my killing all of my minis and round number four should be for him as well because he has so many minis on the board and the mini picker. I really hate his mini picker. Now in round number five and the last one, I will upgrade my healing ranger to wider spear. And I will move it to one tile to the left and I will upgrade my Valkyrie as well to level 1 and I will move my wave master to the front of this because I don't expect him to put his mini pika in the left hand side nice now my wave master will charge his ability fast and my mini pika is connecting and killing his countess which is so great now if only his mini pika dies we should win this round now and that happens and yes that will be the end of the match for me and this will be the third the, the 13 win streak now we are at match number four and we are facing super b another wave master player and I will put down a Valkyrie and a mini P.E.K.K.A on top of the shell. Hopefully, my mini P.E.K.K.A will get a good value in the in, on top of his back minis. And he puts his golden giant on top of the shell and put down a musketeer. My mini P.E.K.K.A hits the musketeer, but my his wave master is going on top of my mini P.E.K.K.A and my wave master has been standing forever. We are not looking strong as my wave master is dying because of his three survived means in round number two what i will do is i will put down as many minis as i can the old strategy always work and i will put a, a healer down a healing ranger and i will put down a golden giant as well and i will keep my wave master in the front hopefully my wave master will charge his ability faster than his wave master Let's see, he upgraded his musketeer to one star and put down a healing ranger. His wave master charged his ability faster, that was so unfortunate, and my wave master wasn't able even to hit his ability. Ooh, we are looking strong as we I have three minis 
No, this will be close. This will be close. I think if only the healing rage heals the mini Pekka. Yes, round number two will be for us. It's really like this. In round number three, I will upgrade my mini Pekka to dissipate and I will reroll to find the bowler and I will put it down. Yes, I get it. I will see, keep my mini Pekka in the right hand side because I have the shell in the left, so he will stay in the right hand side. So hopefully, my mini Pekka will catch his wave master. Yes, my mini Pekka catched uh, his wave master, and this must be a really fast and easy win for us because the mini Pekka, when it catches the wave master with the dissipate. It will destroy the wave master completely. In round number four, I will hmm, I will move my bowler to the middle and I will put the golden giant in the front because I expect him to upgrade his mini Pekka to dissipate and I will move my bowler to the left hand side, uh, side and I will upgrade my healing ranger to the rage ability. I didn't move with my mini Pekka because I expect him to stay in this. No. Unfortunately, my wave master walks toward his mini Pekka, and that's so bad for me. And he, my mini Pekka survives. Can we win this round? I don't think because his musketeer survives, and musketeer here uh, plus the healing ranger combo is so strong. And I will lose, uh, lose round number four. In round number 5 and the last one, we have the shield in the right, so I think he will put his wave master to the left. Mm, so I will move my wave master to the front and I will move my mini Pekka to the left inside. Hopefully, we can catch his wave master with our mini Pekka. And I will upgrade the healing ranger to the wider spear and upgrade my Valkyrie to the first ability. Ooh, his bowler saves my wave master and my mini Pekka. Is, he, Dissipating his wave master was is so great and this will be the perfect win for us uh, because his wave master died so fast and we will not even lose a single mini in this match. Nice. Now we are at 14 win streaks. Let's see if I, we can make it to 15. Oh hell no! In this match, I faced Super B again, and in this match, he played really well and defeated me. And I really respect that because he played so well. And 14 was my last win streak. Maybe you can make more than me. And we need new members in our clan. It's free if you want to join. And don't forget to buff my channel. And bye!